Good morning to everybody. It's day 64. Beautiful sunrise out here this morning. Over top of that valley we looked at earlier today, or yesterday. Uh, just wanted to share this beautiful sunrise. I'm uh, going to be uh, getting ready to hike. Won't be leave for a little bit yet, but uh, what a day to wait to wake up. We have a little bit of a view here. That's the uh, valley that we saw from the uh, shelter last night. From a different angle, we've been walking a ridge now for about five miles, about halfway to uh, the shelter for the night. Um, and if I come across another view, I'll share it. Hey guys, here's a, a neat rock formation we're passing. I thought I'd just share. Uh, we're going to be heading up those stairs, but uh, just cool with that rock and the uh, overhang. Here's another uh, view. These huge rocks up here on the top of this ridge. Luckily the trail doesn't go over them. It goes uh, around them and between them, but uh, really cool view. Hey guys, just wanted to uh, walk along and show you these uh, rocks. Um, we're not getting uh, any uh, real views of uh, val the valley and stuff, but pretty cool. Uh, rock slide here it goes all the way down the hill it looks like a, a rock river but uh, the impressive thing is all those rocks up there Good morning everybody, it's day 65. Just getting started on, on the trail. We just left the, uh, the shelter, or I just left the shelter. Danger's coming behind me. Um, came across this nice little stream. Thought I'd uh, share that in the morning. And uh, if I see any uh, sights today, obviously I'll stop and uh, get pictures. What a wonderful morning. We're four and a half miles into our uh, trip for today. Uh, this is a, a creek that we're crossing, beautiful waterfall. If I turn around, there's even uh, more. So it's a very uh, cool picture. I'm gonna walk over around the bridge. Uh, get out of the uh, sound of the waterfall a little bit, because I'm sure it's hard to hear but danger hurt his ankle he thinks he has a, a fracture in it so he's uh, getting ready to head home uh, we're waiting for a shuttle for him and then he's going to head out uh, on the shuttle to Bland and I'm going to continue up the trail which looks like it's down there where the one lane bridge is at uh, one lane bridge sign is at a little bit of a view here, a town down there. Not sure which town, that might be Bland, Virginia. But uh, if it is, that's where Danger is heading for the uh, a couple days until his mom comes and picks him up from uh, on her way back from Florida. We did get another view, so I'll share this view. Nice view here of the valley down there. Um, we're heading down and then back up. I don't think we're gonna be in that valley, but uh, um, Wanted to share while I have it. We have another view here at a uh, power line. A ni another nice view of the valley. I'm road walking right now. The uh, trail goes along this road and then turns off up here. But I uh, thought I'd show you this view. A beautiful uh, example of a blood root here on the trail. Just thought I'd show it to you. I, these are open really nice. I thought it was really cool. Hey guys, it's really uh, interesting. This is I-77 down here. It's just down the hill. I'll cross it in a little while. But I've been in the woods for three days, four days now. No traffic sounds. This just sounds incredibly loud. And that's probably three quarters of a mile away, maybe 
maybe half mile away but it's a uh, ways away and the, the uh, traffic sounds just incredible um, since I haven't been uh, listening to uh, traffic or anything like that for the last uh, last few days hey guys I'm 12.2 uh, miles into my walk today uh, 13.4 I think uh, something like that a little over 13 anyway I'm walking and I got a text message it let me know it was going to happen but up ahead oh, is a van and that is Fresh Grounds. Fresh Grounds is a trail angel who has a van and comes along and sets up along the, near the trail and feeds hungry hikers. So I'm looking forward to getting down there and uh, seeing what he got. I heard he has uh, brats, so I'm going to eat a couple of those. So, so this is this is Fresh Grounds and his uh, his trailer. Yeah, he's uh, putting away, but I guess he put some food away for, for me. Thank you, thank you. Are you hungry? I am. See ya. So hey guys, it's 6:25 p.m. and I just hit the 600 mile mark. There's no plaque, no marker, no nothing, but my map is showing me 600 miles. Oh wait a second, I take that back. Somebody did make a marker, and there it is, 600 miles down what's that uh only uh 1600 more to go yeah we're going let's go hey guys i ended up night hiking uh, i'm almost at my shelter uh ended up doing a 23.2 mile day today huge miles not what i normally do but uh i wanted to uh, catch up with the other group and uh so i uh did the miles we'll see what i'm able to do tomorrow might not be able to do much of anything but uh i did a huge number of miles today um should be at the shelter in about 10 minutes there's going to be uh people sleeping so i don't want to try to videotape there so thought i'd do a wrap up here talk to you guys later bye This crazy man walked 23.2 miles yesterday. That doesn't include the approach trails, which probably was another 0.3. So I probably had 23 and a half. If you count the approach trails uh, from the shelters that I stayed in, uh, it was a very long day. I got to camp about 8:30 last night, so it was dark. I ended up, uh, as I showed in the uh, previous video. Uh, hiking with my headlamp on for about the last 45 minutes, I, I guess. Um, it wasn't too bad. Um, my feet do hurt me. Um, but I'm back up and at them this morning. Um, I'm, uh, my ankles hurt this morning. But now that uh, I've done probably a half mile this morning, um, they've stretched out and uh, don't feel too bad. But I did change my plans. Uh, I've worked around uh, moved around my schedule I'm actually staying at a hostel 6.2 miles away tonight and then tomorrow night I will stay at a shelter and then I have two hostels lined up which gets me to Pearsburg um, on Saturday night originally I thought I was going to get there Sunday night uh, but because I basically walked two days worth of walking yesterday uh, I get there a day early which gives me the opportunity to attend uh, Easter service, which I'm looking forward to. So um, it uh, was, was good that I actually uh, did the miles yesterday. Um, the other thing is, 
I was told Brush Grounds is going to be here for breakfast. That was part of the motivation to get me moving yesterday and to do that number of miles. It is a super long day. That's the longest day I've ever had. Most miles and most time walking, but it wasn't that bad. So we'll take it. Have a great day and I will fill you in with other details. And here's Fresh Grounds. My breakfast called you in, yellow. Uh, your breakfast <laughs> called me in, buddy. Hey, congratulations. You made it. I can't believe it. Yeah, me neither. You're hurting, right? Yeah, I am. You're going to go to Weary Feet and stop for the day? I am going to Weary good, Feet. Good idea. They make really good breakfast. Better than me. Better yeah. than Had a wonderful breakfast consisting of blueberry pancakes, eggs, eggs with cheese in them. Uh... uh bacon and potatoes uh, orange juice and Gatorade so it was a wonderful breakfast compliments of fresh grounds and compliments to fresh grounds for uh, doing that for us it's wonderful he's out here for I think he said 11 11 or 12 weeks of the year uh, feeding northbound hikers southbound hikers if they happen to be this late in the season but uh, his nobo season is uh, 12 weeks, and uh, I think he said he's on week seven. So it was cool to see him this morning, have breakfast, and uh, now I'm on my way for, to a five mile uh, hike to Weary Feet Hostel, where I'll spend the night, get a shower, I need one, and uh, do laundry. Talk to you guys later. We made it to the bridge across Kimberling Creek. A nice suspension bridge. It sways when you walk on it, but uh, pretty cool. And then coming over this way is Bad Bat.